and welcome to NAFDAQ and Your Health. Here, we bring you up to date with NAFDAQ's activities with regards to its mandate of safeguarding the health of the nation. I am your host. My name is Tosin Adebayo. Since she took office, Professor Adeyeye has been championing the cause to ensure that NAFDAQ matches up to the best international standards. On this edition of the program, we join the Director General of NAFDAQ, Professor Mujisola Adeyeye, at a press briefing as she breaks a very vital good news to the country. My amiable directors and staff, this is to break the news that NAFDAQ has been categorized as maturity level three regulatory agency. the news at about 1 a.m. this morning and uh, I started sending attachments through email to the most important people in my professional life, uh, the chair of our council, the minister of health. Uh, those are the ones that I first sent this good news to. Why are we here and how was the journey? We started this journey January of 2018, about five weeks after my resumption. And the journey was arduous, was very tasking. WHO Global Benchmarking is all about comparing regulatory agencies that who want to do that with the best regulatory agencies in the world. Not comparing ourselves with ourselves, but with the best. The driving force uh, behind what we have been able to achieve is the health of our people. NAVDAQ's goal is to safeguard the health of our people, of Nigerian people. However, with that is quality standards, international standards. Our mandate is to control uh, the importation, exportation, manufacturing, distribution, sale, advertisement sale and use of our seven regulated products. And NAVDAQ is not an island. NAVDAQ is in the community of regulatory agencies globally. Therefore, we have to adopt global standards. So with the drive to, to ensure that the health of our people is maintained, is also to use international standards. And uh, that was what I started uh, maybe within six weeks of my resumption, January of uh, 2018. We needed to um, imbibe quality systems or quality culture in our regulatory practice. So we started the WHO Global Benchmarking. Uh, January 16, I believe, January 16 or thereabout, 2018. Why is that so important? It is very important because a regulatory agency is guided by many principles with the goal of making sure that the health of the people is kept. And for the global benchmarking is called ISO 9004. It has eight functions. From regulatory functions to clinical trials to laboratory testing to licensing with the PCN, Pharmacist Council of Nigeria. A regulatory uh, agency is expected to meet recommendations. We had 868 recommendations to meet January of 2018. 
868 recommendations to meet in order to reach what is called maturity level three. That is the minimum that a regulatory agency should meet. You have maturity level four, and then you have what is called word listed authorities. You know. So we started what is called self-auditing. The global benchmarking tool GBT represents the primary means by which the World Health Organization WHO objectively evaluates regulatory systems as mandated by World Health Assembly WHA Resolution 67.20 on regulatory system strengthening for medical products. The journey to attaining the WHO Global Benchmarking tool required an enormous amount of training and retraining from top to bottom and infusing quality management systems into the DNA of the agency. We all came from different geographical zones, uh, from Lagos, from Abuja, uh, to emphasize on what we are doing right now, global benchmarking and quality management system. Why do we need global benchmarking and quality management system in a regulatory agency like ours, uh, because uh, without it, we cannot say we are really doing anything. If we are doing something and we don't document, and we don't give evidence, then we are not doing anything. And it will have affected all our processes. So for the past one year, we have been working on quality management system. And quality management system is thinking of the customer first before you think of yourself. And also thinking of the image of the agency. Anything that is going to make the customer not to be satisfied, we have to put emphasis on it. And that's what all of us have been undergoing over the last one year uh, in terms of quality management system training. We went through about 18 months of rigorous training on how not to think of myself, but to think of the customer. And also to consider the agency. So we had the training from 2018 to 2019, the, the initial. And we got uh, the ISO 9001 certification. That's the quality management system certification. We did not arrive, meaning we didn't finish our job. It is that we just started a roadmap to becoming more efficient, more standard operation, operating system driven, thinking of the customers more. At the same time, we started doing self-auditing for our global benchmarking, WHO, 868. So WHO also came June 2019, physically to look at what we said we have done. So within a year and a half, we reduced the 868 to 149. But the 149 were the most difficult uh, to achieve. Unfortunately, the pandemic came, slowed us down because our attention became diverted to meeting the needs. Uh, but around June of uh, 2020, we started again where we stopped. And uh, it was evident because we now become more customer focused. In fact, our goal is now customer focused, agency minded. We became more standard operating procedures driven. We are now more uh, aware that we have to have good documentation. So we started reducing all this. Our systems get, started getting better. Our communication to our stakeholders started getting better. Till tomorrow, we're going to have continuous quality monitoring. However, we are light years away from where we were almost four years ago. So we continued 
uh, with our self auditing 149, we brought it down to 33. Remaining our regulations that needed to be gazetted because it is something to have a regulation. It is, it, it is another thing to become an official government document. So they came uh, July, WHO came July 5 to 9, virtually, to see where we were. Uh, and uh, of course, we still had the 33, but a lot of improvement from 868 to 33. Uh, they were very, very much impressed, but we are not there yet. The importance of attaining level three global benchmarking too goes beyond the assurance of quality medical products. It also guarantees international trade. However, with this unprecedented achievement, first of all, Nigerian pharmaceutical companies can now manufacture vaccines locally. Why is maturity level three so important? Aside from the regulatory system that have to be strong, it is that without maturity level three, Nigeria can never manufacture vaccines. So it is not about the DG, it is not about the staff, it is about our country. It is about the image of this country, where God has given so much endowment, so much gift for us to show that we can do it. So, uh, with the 33, Actually, with, uh, with a July 5 to 9 visit, we reduced the 33 to, I believe, 9 or so. And then they came, October 15. We had nothing left. We have met all the recommendations. We have a common SharePoint database with WHO. In fact, all the regulatory agencies that are on this journey have common SharePoint database. So they look at all the evidences. These recommendations are evidences. OK, you, you say you can do this, show us the evidence. And the evidence means it's not one page. It can be a booklet. You know. So uh, NAVDAC has been having sleepless nights for four years so that we can manufacture vaccines so that we can be a better service provider for our customers, so that the health of our people can be improved, so that substandard falsified medicines can be mitigated. It is important so that the food that we are eating, we will know that it is wholesome. The water that we are drinking, we will know that it is also that a child will not have diarrhea because of it. Uh, so that the drugs, food that are coming into the country will be drugs and food that will make us better. Bearing in mind that NAVDAC has 18 directorates. Part of this is so that the chemicals that we are using, that are being imported into the country, will not harm our people. The pesticides that are used in agriculture will not be transferred to the product to the extent that it will start harming our people. So it is, it is so much en uh, so, so, so encompassing in terms of having a quality system. We'll take a short break now. Don't go away. Welcome back. You're watching NAFDAC and your health. After a long four years of arduous work by members of management and staff of NAFDAC, and meeting all the requirements laid out by the WHO. The agency was assessed, one, last time by the WHO. They came physically to check that everything they saw, virtually or electronically, all these are on the ground. 
So, Friday 25th of February, they went through everything, the, no stone left unturned. Because why? There are no African standards. It's all about international standards to protect our population, whether it's food or drug, but mostly drug in this instance. And they told us that we have attained maturity level three. That was 25th of February, but that this should not be announced until we see the letter. So we kept it to ourselves. And I want to thank the Public Affairs Director, <laughs> Dr. Bubaka, <laughs> because it was too much of a temptation for me. <laughs> we got the letter, and the good news is that NAVDAC is now Maturity Level 3 Regulatory Agency. <laughs> In, the, in Africa, and only very few in the world, I'm talking of low middle income countries, only very, very few. So this is a, a great achievement for NAVDA. When you hear maturity level three, you can ask what is the next step? It's maturity level four. We are already working on maturity level four. What will that do for us? It will bring greater news to our pharmaceutical industry. And our pharmaceutical industry is represented in the council by Dr. Aqua. Meaning that any product that NAVDAC approves in Nigeria can be traded globally. That is where my vision is. That's where my focus is. Of course, what we have achieved now is great because it's assuring Nigeria that our drugs, the quality of our drugs are better. Our clinical trial guidances and guidelines are better. Regulatory inspection is better. Our laboratory testing, I'm, I'm, I'm listing the functions they benchmarked us for. Our laboratory testing is at the best stage that it was ever be, or it was ever at, rather. That our market control is better. What is market control? When a product is approved, knowing that Many of our products come from outside. I will take that first. When it is approved, it now the importer brings it to the port. That is where the market control starts. Until that product goes through the, market, the, the life cycle, which is going through the post-marketing uh, stage, they've seen us that we are better much better in our market control. Market authorization is another function. Registration of our products. We have gone from manual to e-registration. Few glitches here and there. However, they've seen us as much, much better. This is a quad continuous quality improvement. Even when we get maturity level four, they will be coming every three years to make sure that we are still keeping our standards, we are following our standards. And there is no fear because of the template on which we started, which is the quality uh, system. We have been recertified since 2019. Our quality management system, we have been recertified since 2019, and once we get recertified, by November, we start another self-auditing. And the self-auditing will continue and continue until another recertification, and we start all over. 
So that is going to keep us going, will keep us on our toes. Uh, again, I want to thank everybody. Uh, this has to be sustained. Again, they come, they're going to be coming every three years. Whether they come every three years or two years, NAVDAC is on the right track. Because this is a glory to our dear country. I cannot finish finish this uh, press briefing without thanking the president for giving me the opportunity to serve my motherland. I was in the U.S. for 37 years. I retired happily. I came here to serve because we can make it. God has given us that endowment in this country. God has given us the endowment to be who he wants us to be. It is left for us to be who he wants us to be. And I just want to thank the president for that. Thank you very much. What we see today is a result of continuous support that we get from government in terms of investing in strengthening our regulatory capacity as an agency. And today, NAVDAC has been certified by the World Health Organization as a maturity level three agency. This means that NAVDAC is now considered as a very stable, well functioning. As she said, whatever we do in Nigeria today is accepted globally because of this. Uh, achievement that we've been able to achieve uh, to announce today. The government of Nigeria has supported us in terms of investing in strengthening our regulatory capacity. And the staff of the agency, DG has led a very strong professional staffing that have been able to work tirelessly since 2018 until we reach this set us today. I recall in our last meeting uh, at the Governing Council in December, when she announced that the last hurdle is almost crossed, and we congratulated ourselves since that day because we knew that the end will, at the end, justify the means. We are sure that Nigeria is going to attain this maturity level three. And from that day, we made a commitment that she will lead Nigeria fighting to get into maturity level four. I'm happy she announced that it is a target that we believe is achievable. And once Nigeria gets to that level, then you can help or hold your head high and you can now say that you have become an established country where everything that comes out of this country will be globally accepted. So I want to congratulate ourselves, congratulate the management, the staff for all the efforts they've been able to put through for this country to make this uh, significant achievement. It's a major milestone for our country. With this unprecedented achievement, NAFDAQ has not only positioned itself to better deliver on its mandate, it has placed Nigeria on the world health map as a country committed to the health and well-being of its people and indeed globally acceptable standards. Here is where we draw the courtings on this edition of the program. Join us same time, same station next week for another informative package. In the meantime, if you have comments, complaints, or you want to report activities of fake drugs or adulterated food product peddlers, our doors are always open. You can reach NAFTA via toll-free numbers. For inquiries, call 0700-162-3322. For complaints, call 0800-162-3322. You may also email NAFTA at nafta.gov.ng. If you have complaints about any form of misconduct, you can reach the Reforms Unit via email, reforms at navdac.gov.ng or call the Reforms Hotlines on 0909-763-0506 or 
0909-763-0507. NAFDAQ, customer-focused, agency-minded. Importing, producing, distributing, and selling fake drugs and cosmetics, adulterated food, and so on, are criminal activities that destroy lives. Join the fight against these heinous crimes by reporting any suspicious activity in your area to NAFDAQ. Let's join hands to safeguard the health of our nation. See you next week. Stay safe.